Hey there, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through three different ways to start an LLC in New Mexico. But more important than that, I'm gonna share with you crucial information that will help keep your new business safe and protected. So if you're not familiar with terms such as commingling funds, piercing the corporate veil, or registered agent, don't worry, but just know these terms are very important. And by the end of this video, you'll understand how they're gonna impact your LLC. So the first way to start a New Mexico LLC is just to go to the New Mexico Secretary of State's website. And you can find the link to the state site and any resources mentioned in the description below. Once you create an account, you can go through the steps there to get your LLC set up. As you'd expect, the state website is not the prettiest or the easiest thing to navigate but there are no fees involved except for the $50 state filing fee as of 2022. There's no way around that fee. You are going to have to pay it, whether you go direct through the state or an online legal tool or through an attorney. The pros of using a state site are that there are no markups or upsells. The downside is that they're just not laid out well for making the registration process easy. In fact, I think it's way more confusing than it needs to be. One of the other downsides of the state site is that they don't help you keep your LLC compliant. And that's because the site lacks the ability to remind you of important updates and renewal reminders. I'll explain this further, but first let's just talk about what an LLC actually is so that you understand how to maintain it properly. So a lot of people think that there's a tax advantage to an LLC over a sole proprietorship, but actually there's not. The advantage of an LLC is in the name itself. It helps to limit your liability. So imagine your business and all of its assets. This could be an office, computers, business bank accounts. Now on the personal side, you may have a home, your vehicle, a personal bank account. So what an LLC does is it draws a line or division between those two asset classes. That division is something called the corporate veil. So if someone sues your business, they can try and come after your business assets, but the LLC and the corporate veil protect your personal assets so they can't come after your personal home or bank account. That is why an LLC is so important. Earlier, I mentioned something called piercing the corporate veil. What this legal jargon means is if your business is being sued, the attorney suing your business is going to try and find cracks in your LLC. If they can find a crack, they can pierce the corporate veil. When this happens, they can come after your business and personal assets. So that is why it's so important to not only set up an LLC, but you have to maintain it so that there are no cracks. Now I'd like to explain why the state site just is not great for maintaining your LLC. And I'm gonna give you a few examples. A great service for setting up your LLC is a company called Inkfile, which is an online legal tool. You'll find a link in the description below that will take you to their site. And we appreciate when you use that link because it helps to support the YouTube channel. The reason I like Inkfile is that they have packages starting at $0 plus the state fee. And one of the perks of this $0 package is that you get a free registered agent service for a year. This is the first reason why I prefer this site over the state site. So now let's dive into what a registered agent is. Every LLC is required to have a registered agent, and sometimes they're called a resident agent, statutory agent, or agent for service of process. The registered agent has to have a physical address in the state your LLC is set up. And this person helps you with important communication and documentation. This can be things like franchise tax forms, notices of litigation, tax and legal correspondence, and required annual report forms. So basically the registered agent helps keep your LLC in compliance. Now, if you go through the state website, they just ask for the name and the address of your registered agent without much context. If you go through Inkfile, that service is free for the first year and then $119 annually after that. And you can always change or drop the registered agent service at any time. Now, another reason I like Inkfile is that the state website doesn't help you with the federal aspects of your business. And here's a good example of this. So your LLC is set up through your state, 
but an EIN business tax number is set up through the IRS. And you can think of your EIN as a social security number that's gonna be used to identify your business for tax purposes. So when you get set up through the state website, they don't help you with setting up an EIN number. And if you've never done it before, it can be pretty confusing. In the middle tier package of Inkfile, they set up your EIN for you. I'll also include a link in the description below if you wanna set up your EIN yourself on the IRS website. Now, I also wanna highlight that they will set you up with a business bank account. And this is really important to do from the beginning, and here's why. So not only does it just make bookkeeping and accounting for your business way easier, but you should know if you are going to run your business through your personal checking account, you are commingling funds. And that's because you have your personal cash flow and then you have your business cash flow all happening in the same account. This can create a crack in your LLC, which could lead to an attorney piercing the corporate veil and coming after your business and personal assets. So Inkfile takes these things into consideration where the state site just sets up your LLC. The nice thing with Inkfile is that your dashboard helps you not only set up your LLC, but maintain it and keep it compliant with annual reports or forms that need to be filed as well. On the screen here, you'll see a video that goes further into the dashboard and what it looks like after setting up your LLC. There will also be a video on how to pay yourself with an LLC. Again, thank you for using the links in the description below, and I'll catch you on the next video.